All right, let's look at the derivatives of other types of functions and how the chain rule applies with them. So let's start with exponential functions. So e to the x, the derivative of that is e to the x. So if it's some other function of u, um, so like e to the x squared, e to the sine of x, e to the root x, whatever, uh, what you can do is just rewrite the function, so just e to the u, just like you did here, but then you're going to multiply by the u prime or the derivative of your exponent. Uh, and it's something that you did all along, you just didn't know it, it's just because what's the derivative of x? Well, it's a 1. So that u prime is still really in there, it's just it was a 1. Okay, so we can now generalize it to any type of exponential function so when the base is something other than e so if it's something other than e its derivative is a to the x times ln of the base and when it was e it would be like ln of e which is still just one so it's still applied in here you just again didn't see it now if it's a to the u just recopy the function, so a to the u times ln of a, but then multiply by the derivative of your exponent. And this will work every single time you do it, as opposed to like going, oh gosh, now I gotta use the chain rule, and how does that work? Um, exponential functions are a lot easier to work with than they appear possible. Okay, find the derivative of each function. Okay, so it's exponential, so I'm going to rewrite it just as it is. And then multiply by the derivative of the exponent, which is negative 1. So it's really just negative e to the negative x. All right, that's pretty easy. Uh, for part b, still exponential, so just rewrite the function. multiply by the derivative of the exponent and there you go okay part C it's still exponential but the base is a, is a 5 it's not an E so now I've got to use this thing right here so recopy the function multiply by ln of the base or ln of 5 and then multiply by the derivative of your exponent, which is 4. So usually when you work with these, uh, the constants go in front of the exponential. So I'm going to put the 4 out front, followed by the ln of 5, followed by the exponential part, just like that. Okay, part D, oh, we're back to E's again. Nice, so just recopy it. Then multiply by the derivative of your exponent. So the derivative of root x is 1 half x to the negative half. So we end up with e to the root x all over two root x. Okay, part E, 3 to the sine of x. Oh, gosh. Well, don't panic because you've got a trig function in an exponential. Just follow everything else. Just what you did before. So rewrite the function. Multiply by ln of your base. Then multiply by the derivative of your exponent. and then just kind of clean it up as best as you can. So I'll put the ln of three out in the front, followed by the trig function, and then the exponential. The order doesn't matter because it's all multiplication, so you could have the ln of three in the back if you wanted, or, you know, um, just that's, to me it looks a little bit nicer to have it written out this way, but. You, you know, choose whatever order you want. 
Okay, let's go ahead and look at the derivatives of the logarithms. These are actually kind of fun. I kind of, these are kind of nice, even though the derivative looks kind of scary. Okay, so the derivative of ln of x turns out to be 1 over x. So if it's ln of something else, some other function in terms of x, it's going to be 1 over u, just like it was before, but then you have to multiply by u prime. That's where the chain rule kind of comes in, is that u prime. So it's really u prime over u. Okay, so we can now generalize it to logs of any base instead of log base e, or the ln. So if it's log base a of just x, it's 1 over x, and then you have to multiply in the denominator by ln of a, so ln of the base. And then if it's some other function in terms of x, so it's not an x in there, it's like x squared or uh, sine of x or something like that, it's 1 over u ln of a times the u prime. Or still the u prime on top over u ln of a. So the derivatives of the logs, they can actually go pretty fast as long as you kind of realize what you're trying to get to. So for example six, find the derivative of each of these. So it's just u prime over u. So whatever's inside the logarithm goes right in the denominator. And then on top is its derivative. So what's the derivative of x squared plus 3? 2x. OK, so ln of cosine. The cosine goes in the denominator. The derivative of cosine goes on top. And I can simplify that into negative tangent. So lns are not usually too bad. Um, so they're actually kind of nice, or at least I think so. Uh, if you don't agree with me, that's totally fine too. So uh, let's stop the video here, and then we'll look at some other examples with uh, some lns and, and logs and go from there.